local pond today. See if we can't catch some fish on some fly rods, but as you can see behind me, fairly busy with paddle boarders. Actually, a lot busy with paddle boarders. But we'll go put some belly boats in the water and go see what kind of fish we can catch. So I've got all my gear on. Belly boat fly rod ready to go. Starting to rain a little bit. Dark clouds behind us. But we're gonna put the boat, belly boat in the water and get to fishing. lot of people out here they're all back there so we're trying to get out here where there's less people at but hopefully we'll catch some fish it is starting to sprinkle a little bit but hey at least we're out of the house having fun Like, I'm paddling backwards. People see me, so what do they do? They pass me, and then they sit right behind me. So I have to go around them. That's what those two did right there. They threw their anchor out right behind me, and then they were glaring at me when I got close to them because they set up right behind me. But it's happened like four times today. But we're just gonna keep going, try to catch some fish, get away from all these people. So. It is not easy at all to fly fish with all this cotton in the water. It just keeps getting stuck on my fly, so. I'm just kicking around on the boat right now, testing it out, because we just bought these, both these belly boats, because the ones from last year popped, so we're getting them ready, tested before we go out of town next week and need them. So, might not be too much of catching fish in this video, but it's just a little test video for us, so. Have you had any bites yet? No, have you? no, I came over here and I wouldn't go any further that way. There's too much cotton. and it just gets stuck all over your fly. And there's like filters pushing water up too. It does that one. There's one there and then there's one out there too. And it like, yeah, it pushes the cotton all around. And everybody, everywhere I go, People park right behind me and then get mad at me when I f go past them. They're glaring at me when I'm just sitting there and they parked right behind me. I don't know what they want me to do. I just come to conclusion there's no fish in here. Hmm? Got the behind the scenes look at the GoPro. That's what you guys don't see. I'm making fun of my GoPro. Mm -hmm. Well, what a fun adventure. We just uh, had a nice little oops. We? I had a nice little oops. GoPro was hurting my head. So I took it off, stuck it in my lap right here. Beetle got on me, went to flick the beetle off. $300 GoPro, right in the water. <laughs> and what were we talking about earlier? Yeah, and we were just sitting here talking, floating. Dylan was just sitting there. He's like, yep, what are you gonna do today? I'm gonna throw my GoPro in the water. Well, guess what? I threw my GoPro in the water. So all the footage we had of earlier of me not catching any fish because nothing's biting out here. It was just us talking and kind of bitching about how there's no fish 
doing anything. And now that footage is gone. Ain't that great, Dylan? Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, shit. It's right there. There's bubbles. Yeah. It finally hit the bottom. Ah, $300. Nice GoPro 8. Gone. Anybody want to come dive the bottom of Bear Creek? And yeah. Get a free GoPro Hero 8. It's over towards the dam. We're, uh, we're actually next to the, the middle bubbler. It's probably in 30, 40 foot of water. Yeah, great. So next time, keep the damn thing on my head. That is probably going to call it for us today because it's uh, been an expensive day. <laughs> we just uh, had a nice little oops. We? I had a nice little oops. GoPro was hurting my head, so I took it off. Stuck it in my lap right here. Beetle got on me. Went to flick the beetle off. <laughs> $300 GoPro. Right in the water. <laughs> <laughs> and what were we talking about? I mean, he wasn't happy. But I mean, like I said, then we'll just buy a new one. So. <laughs> Expensive $300 day. There's nothing you can really do about it. So, I mean, all, all the video that... Because I didn't do anything on my GoPro. He had all the video. So that, yeah, that's so, all gone. so about an hour or two of it, or 20 minutes, 30 minutes of video. It's at the bottom of Bear Creek Reservoir. Hey, at least it was just the. It's like 40 feet over here. Yeah, at least it was just the can. My waterproof case and all the other shit. Was it the brand new battery? Don't know. I wonder so, how many. We, we, we're probably ending on that note. Yeah, today that might be the end of our fishing extravaganza today. Because I see, I, I see a phone going next, especially the way he's holding his right now. I see a phone going off nah, the boat next. I've got a hold of it. That's not good. <laughs> Plus, it's busy out here. Yeah. You need to watch your language on the video. Oh, so sorry. Bleep it out. So sorry. All right, yeah, so that's probably it. We will be home shortly. I'm just cleaning. I'm just cleaning. To order a brand new GoPro. <laughs> Eight black. We'll have to get it before this weekend. Oh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yeah, we didn't think about that. So this is what happens when you drop a GoPro in the water. The other person has to GoPro up so we can get some footage for this week's video. Gonna be a little short on footage. Well, the fish aren't biting. The GoPros are sinking. The, uh, the footage off of the GoPro is 40, 50 foot in the bottom of this little lake here. So Dylan's gotta get his GoPro on to get some content. Ah, just another day. Hey, close that up. It's just another weekend. <laughs> uh, hashtag. Hashtag just another weekend. But it also looks like it's gonna rain. Clouds are moving in.
Well, since this was on the GoPro, which I threw overboard and is now in 30 foot of water, today we are using a little concoction that's a parachute and it's got a mixture of a parachute and a Griffith snat. Um, usually it works pretty good for trout. Today, not so much because I think the lake's just a little busy. And then I'm using my seven foot three weight three four weight to cast with nice little reel but i think this is when we're gonna go home because we lost a gopro it's getting dark clouds are coming in and the fish aren't biting so we're just gonna head into shore and call her a day I'm not gonna end terrible. At least caught a fish. Don't drop! Don't drop my phone in the water. Hey, whatever it was, it yanked your drag too <laughs> when you yanked it. I mean, it's not. Phone's going down for a second. Oh, I just smacked that drink with water. Oh, you catch a bass on a fly? I might have. Oh. No, he's still there. I got a net if you need me to net him. Whatever it is, a decent size. It is. Oh my. Is that a brown? God, come on, don't come off. That's a trout. It's a good size trout. I ain't got much of a netting capability, but it's big. It's <laughs> a good size. Griffith's parachute strikes again. The homemade fly. The homemade fly. <laughs> My net's too small. I don't know how to. <laughs> Decent fish. Use a three hundred dollar GoPro to catch a little stalker rainbow. Good size rainbow. Not too bad at all. Don't let him go though. We ain't got no reason to keep him. I don't have any reason for him today. Let go. Here we go. Oh, nice. Hmm. Well, we just got home and we got all our gear out of the Jeep. It's in the garage, drying out. It's time for dinner. Gotta go inside and order me another GoPro since I decided to throw mine in the lake. So we'll finish unloading and get stuff dried out. Well, I think this is the end to a fairly expensive weekend. If you're new, please subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like on this video because it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. And leave a comment down below on what you thought of this video. We have a week-long trip coming up, so we may see you. We may not see you next Wednesday. Um, hopefully, we'll have service and be able to post next Wednesday. If not, it'll be the following Wednesday. So, maybe we'll see you Wednesday.